Hey guys, it's Susel to you, and today on our first tutorial, we'll learn the basic tools of Roblox Studios. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is, of course, to download Roblox on your computer. So, Roblox Studio is available on Windows and Mac. I'm using Windows on my computer, but don't worry if you have a MacBook or an iMac, it's the same function and the same thing. Great, so when you're in Studio, the first thing you need to do is to open Properties and Explore. So, you go in the View tab up of your screen here, and then you click on Properties and Explore, because this is really useful to make game or models or all these scripts is the basic way to do it so you really need to um, have this open so the first so the first thing you need to do is to put a part in your game so then you click on part up here and then one appear so the selection tool right now what this tool is for well it's to select block or even model so if I put two part and then I group it I make a model so I can select it and move it around my map or my I can move it around really really easily it's not precise but there's other tool for more precise so this tool is really useful to um, if you want to uh, move your thing very fast it's really easy it's like this tool is really really useful for me. The scale tool. Well, what is that? It's not working for me. Well, you need only parts. To, you cannot scale a model. You can only scale parts. So this is really really useful to make your model. So you can scale it. But once you get a, uh, a model, when you group it, you cannot scale anymore. So what you need to do? Well, if you have a complicated um, with a lot, a lot and of part in your model, uh, well, go on the Explorer screen on your right and then click on the little arrow here and you'll see all the parts in your model. Or if you have, like me, only 2 or 3 or 20 parts, you can simply ungroup it and then change the color, for example, and then when it's done, you select both and you group it together and here you've probably seen the anchor what this is well if I'm setting my parts in the air like that okay and then I play my game the the model will fall to the ground if I incur it the model will stay where it is right now so you really need to anchor your parts because if you're making a really fun you, uh, map for a game, for a car simulator, for example, you really need to anchor your thing. Yeah, because if you don't, everything will fall. It will be laggy a lot because your computer need to, to um, you know, it's really really difficult for a computer. Like everything fall and explode because it's not anchored. So I suggest you to anchor everything in your game. And now the movement tool, what this tool is, is to move your brick or your model uh, wherever you want in your game, it's really precise, it's the most precise tool in studio I think, to move your part, so you can put it wherever you want in your game really really easily and precisely. And then the rotation tool, that is to rotate your part, your model, really easily. Um, you can be more precise because if you don't want to move like this, you want to be one part by part. Like, well, you know, you go to model tab up here, and you click on the. You see the um, snap to grid. Well, you click on rotate, and then this is how rotate it will be like 45 degrees uh, rotation. If you want it to be 50 degrees rotation. And if you don't want it, you just uncheck it. So really easily. Or the other tool is the transform tool. It's not when you're in the home tab in the tool selection. There's there's not this option. But when you get to model tab, 
you see the transform tool this is a lot 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 a lot more precise than all the other tools you, in this uh, transform tool you can move your part really really precisely you can rotate your part really really precisely too you can select it and you see all the grid here well it's really precise if you want it to be here like you can just adjust it with a line on the ground and it will be really really more precise than all the other tools so this is like all tools in one Alright guys, thanks for watching this video and see you next week for another tutorial on Roblox Studio. So next week we'll see the effects that you can put in a part, all the material, the color and the surfaces, what are these things and we'll learn all this next week on the next tutorial. So again, thanks for watching, don't forget comment down below, subscribe to, to Celtus channel and see you next week. I look right at the mirror Wondering if I'll be okay